YouTubers. How are you guys doing this evening? Hope everybody's doing well. <clears throat> Tonight I'm smoking my Peterson Bulldog. Love this Peterson. Got it off of Evil Bay. One of my first pipe acquisitions off of Evil Bay, actually. Um, really like it. It's, the bowl is a little smaller than I like, but it's a good smoke, especially this time of night. You know, I don't really want a long bowl. So it's perfect because it smokes great. And in it, probably to no one's surprise, is an English blend. And it is some Woody's Treat. Um, boy, I like Woody's Treat. Woody, you guys did a great job on that blend. Man, super good. It's not overpowering, but you know it's 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 there, you know? Today, coming home from work, I had some uh, Frog Morton across the pond. First time I've ever smoked it. It was a sample given to me by my brother. And... Um, yeah, that is some good stuff, too. I didn't realize how good Across the Pond was. I, I like the Frog Morton. I like On the Bayou. Um, but that's got to be at the top of the Mortons right there is Across the Pond. For me. really like that. This smokes so good. The reason for my video tonight is right here is on the end of my pipe. It is a um, shrink wrap, and um, you can already see kind of where I've. Good thing I've had this pipe on there or this shrink wrap on there. <clears throat> but it's some shrink wrap that I put on on the pipe, and you slip it on there and hit, get your hair dryer out and put it on there, and it shrinks real tight right up around your stem. It's good for pipes that have kind of a weird. Um, stem right here like the, the p-lips kind of makes it weird for vinyls and softy bits and things like that because it starts wide and comes in but this stuff it, it shrinks right around it and really really does a good job but the drawback if for some reason I would want to remove this I'm going to have to cut it off and be extremely careful with it You know, that's the drawback. I don't have it on all my pipes. Um, I'm going to put it on. I have a couple P-Lip pipes. I'm going to put it on that. I'm going to put it on some corn cobs. But um, it's, a, it's a pretty good thing. Also, I was going to show you guys. Oh, did I leave it inside? Oh, no. I thought I left it inside. Is today, I got... The is SOG. This is my first, um, my first SOG knife. Um, it's, here it is. It's a, uh, it's a SOG. Um, not, I've not owned one before, and uh, so I was really glad to get it when it came in tonight. But if you don't have any Woody's tree, I want to ask you why not. This is good. Still got a little bit in there. Got to definitely put in another order when that gets low. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Just a short video. Let me know what you think about that. I know there's probably some drawbacks to it. Um, I like it because it's great for kind of weird shaped stems. Um, it's not going anywhere. I mean, it's not going to slide around on you. Some people who have the the uh, 
the clear piping tubing on it. Sometimes people don't like it because it's real thick in their mouth. This is very thin, super thin. It's almost like it's not even there. But it does protect your, the stems on your pipes. So let me know what you think. And um, hope you all have a great evening. Blow some smoke rings in the air. But above all, my friends, be blessed. Talk to you soon.